Pune is a city situated in the western India. It is an important city of this country, but at the same time, it is a home to many, many wildlife. We are Reason Web, a bunch of individuals who have dedicated their lives for documenting wildlife. Hi there, my name is Niranjan Basu. I'm a nature lover, a wildlife enthusiast. Today, we have come to the Taljai Forest. Taljai Forest is situated right at the heart of Pune city. Today, I've been accompanied by my friend Anumant Garge, who is currently doing master's degree in environment and technology at Arthi Vidapit. And he will now share his feelings, his knowledge about this Taljai forest. Anumant, you can tell us about this forest. What is it? 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 ऊपर है सिलवे से और ज़्यादातर मतलब यहाँ पे सीजन वाइज ही बर्ड्स मिलते हैं ज़्यादा मतलब ऐसे मतलब माइग्रेटरी बर्ड्स ज़्यादा मिलता है तो ज़्यादा मिलता है और यहाँ पे मतलब महाराष्ट्र का जो पीजन स्टेट ऑफ बर्ड है वो मिलता है खास करके पिकॉक है ज़्यादा नेटिव स्पेसीज मिलते हैं यहाँ पे ये जो तलजाई मंदिर हनुमान मंदिर जो देखा उसका नाम से ही है ये हाँ ये मतलब एक माता थी यहाँ पे कुछ देर के लिए रुकी थी उसके तलजाई के नाम से वो मंदिर बसा हुआ है वहाँ पे तो उसी नाम से ये एरिया पूरा जाना जाता है अभी तक इसको मतलब रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट या ऐसे प्रोटेक्टेड फॉरेस्ट में कोई ऐसे कोई नहीं दिया गया है तक As we were sharing our thoughts, a little friend, the forest skeleton, was keeping an eye on us. Our next destination is Matheran. Matheran is situated 140 km away from the Pune city proper. It is located 800 meters above the sea level. Cars don't go there. You have to trek more than 2.5 km to reach Matheran. As we were trekking, a Malaba giant squirrel caught our eyes. It is a giant in its own right. The largest squirrel species found in India. But this giant is also facing a risk from human beings, which is mainly due to habitat destruction. But not just the giant squirrel, but another animal endemic to Western Ghats, the bonnet macaque, was also following us. Unlike vicious macaques, these macaques have long, really long tails. Cloud, rain, these are very common in Matheran. The weather is moist. And moist weather means frog. Matheran is full of frogs and toads. This reddish burrowing frog has made a hole for itself. And best time to see them is night. Bush frogs and tree frogs prefer the branches and leaves of the trees. They have adhesive pads on their digits which help them to climb. Whereas the Indian toad likes to roam on the ground, they feed on large insects. Their main defense system is a pair of parotid glands which is present on their back. It secrets poison. Skittering frogs love water more. Western Ghat is home to many frogs and toads which are not found anywhere else on earth. Like this endemic Kudramukh zakarina and its subspecies Wrinkled zakarina. If there are frogs, that means there has to be snakes. During our night trail, we saw a few snakes. And one of them was a common Indian cat snake. It is so named because of their eyes. They are semi-venomous, arboreal snakes, which feed on lizards, frogs and other small animals. They can lift two-thirds of their body length. Not just night, we also saw snakes in the morning. With a little help from the local rescuer, Anil Andri, 
It was a rare mountain trinket snake that we saw. It is a non-venomous species which mainly feed on rodents and small animals. Most of the snakes are non-venomous, like this, but some are very venomous. Snake venom is of two types, hemotoxin which destroys tissue and causes by the snakes like viper and neurotoxin which shuts down the nervous system possessed by the snakes like cobra. Snakes are important pest controllers. They keep rodent population in check, but unfortunately people are killing them out of fear which is not needed and which is also reducing the potentiality of the pest controllers. On our other night trails at Khandil and Taminihat, we saw animals other than frogs and snakes. Most important are the spiders. The spiders are carnivorous arachnids. They weave, wave to catch prey. The spider silk is one of the toughest objects of this planet. This lycosidae is weaving a wave. Not just that, they can also wrap up their web. We had encountered many bizarre creatures too throughout our journey. Most notable is a rock gecko. Geckos have specially adapted digits which can work as adhesive suckers and help them to climb the wall. They mainly feed on insects. Western Guard lived up to its height. But this place is also hit by the human settlements and activities. This has been the main problem of this place. Look at that. Look at that emission. This is a biodiversity hotspot which is heavily affected by human settlements. I would like to call my friend Hanuman. He will say something about this emission. Because he is doing his master's degree in environment and its pollution. Hanuman is the stack which are emitted so many pollutants uh, in the air uh, like SOX, NOX and uh, SPM which are very harmful to the uh, air and because of this we are suffering from uh, so many diseases and its uh, effects on uh, environment also so it is very harmful so we have to work on it and manage these things is it done are we out of option no our fellow member rona kare and his like-minded associates have taken a vow to protect these animals one by one. They rescue, they treat and they release wild animals back to their normal habitat. Yes, we do have a fighting chance. We urge you to actively participate in the process because it is the time or we will be too late to save these magnificent animals.